first learn the meaning of what you say and then speak it. If anyone tells you that a certain person speaks ill of you, do not make excuses about what is said of you, but answer. He was ignorant of my other fault, else he would not have mentioned this alone. Don't explain your philosophy. I'm body. First, say to yourself what you will be and then do what you have to do. The key is to keep company only with people who uplift you, whose presence calls forth your best. Any person capable of angering you become your master. He can anger you only when you permit yourself to be disturbed by him. He who laughs at himself never runs out of the thing to laugh at. Circumstances don't make the man, they only reveal him to himself. It is not what happen to you, but how you react to it, that matters. People are not disturbed by things, but by the view they take of them. It is impossible for a man to learn what he thinks he already knows. Wealth consists not in having great possessions, but in having few ones. There is only one way to happiness, and that's to stop worrying about things which are beyond the power of our will. Freedom is the only worthy goal in life. It is won by disregarding things that lie beyond our control. I laugh at those who think they can damage me. They do not know who I am. They do not know what I think. They cannot even touch the things which are really mine and with which I live. Nature had given men one tongue but two ears that we may hear from others twice as much as we speak. Attach yourself to what is spiritually superior, regardless of what other people think or do. Hold to your true aspirations, no matter what is going on around you. No man is free who is not master of himself. The greater the difficulty, the more glory in surmounting it. Skillful pilots gain their reputation from storms and tempests. He is a wise man who does not grieve for the thing which he has not, but rejoices for those which he has. Remember, it's not enough to be hit or insulted to be harmed. You must believe that you are being harmed. If someone succeeds in provoking you, realize that your mind is complicit in the provocation, which is why it is essential we not respond impulsively to impression. Take a moment before reacting, and you will find it easier to maintain control. Don't seek to have events happen as you wish, but wish them to happen as they do happen, and all will be well with you. God has entrusted me with myself. No man is free who is not master of himself. A man should so live 
that his happiness shall depend as little as possible on external things. The world turned aside to let any man pass who knows where he is going. Small-minded people blame others. Average people blame themselves. The wise see all blame as a foolishness. Events don't just happen, but arrive by appointment. If you would cure anger, do not feed it. Say to yourself, I used to be angry every day. Then every other day, now only every third or fourth day. And when you reach 30 days, offer the sacrifice of thanksgiving to God. It is our attitude to our events, not events themselves, which we can control. Nothing is by its own nature calamitous. Even death is terrible only if we fear it. No great thing is created suddenly. When things seem to have reached that stage, merely say, I won't play any longer and take your departure. But if you stay, you stop lamenting. You become what you give your attention to. No great thing is created suddenly any more than a bunch of grapes or a fig. If you tell me that you desire a fig, I answer that there is must be a time. Let it first blossom, then bear fruit, then ripen. From this instant on, vote to stop disappointing yourself. Separate yourself from the mob. Decide to be extraordinary and do what you need to do now. Fortify yourself with moderation, for this is an impenetrable fortress. If you want to improve, be content to be thought foolish and stupid. When you are offended at any man's fault, turn to yourself and study your own failing. Then you will forget your anger. The challenge you face will introduce you to your strength. Remain steadfast, and one day you will build something that endures something worthy of your potential. Seek not the good in external things, seek it in yourself. It is the nature of the wise to resist pleasure of the foolish to be a slave to them. <laughs>